G'day, my name's Alan Baldwin. I'm an English-born Australian, a Kubra wearing sunglass-toting carp enthusiast from Victoria in Australia. And I call myself the Canny Carper. He's the dude who's in the mood to pull some carp out for you. He's the dude who's in the mood to show you just what to do. Oh, good morning. Back on the swim. Had the day off yesterday. It was too wet and too windy, and yeah, it'd just been impossible. But uh, back here today, there's my shadow, and um, the very famous Candy Carper shadow, I should mention. <laughs> Anyway, back on the swim. Got my landing net set up this time. Have a look at that. This is uh, what you what you do with your with your middle rod rest when you're only using three rods, uh, two rods. There you go. Look at that. Ready for action. Let's hope we get some. Well, what's that song? Uh, morning sun when it's in your face really shows your age. Maggie May. <laughs> Uh, same applies to me, so <laughs> I'm not going to look at it for too long. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, so uh, we're still waiting for the first bite. Oh, there's a little tuck. That's the wind. But, um, yeah, it's looking good today. I'm uh, just looking out where, just beyond that uh, landing net handle there, a fish jumped right in the middle, came out, and then uh, did it about... Uh, 30 metres further along, sort of going down in that direction. So cruising along the middle and hopefully come back along the side, the side I'm on. <laughs> so today's setup is exactly the same as it was on Monday. Today's Wednesday. I've got a critically balanced wafter and piece of fake corn on the left hand rod. And that's about four wraps out right in front of me. And then on the right hand rod I've got another critically balanced this time it's a topper with a fake piece of corn on top of it both critically balanced keeps them out of the the bottom here is a lot of um, gum leaves and they just they just don't seem to <laughs> break down over time they just go in the water and stay there turn black and get leathery so yeah there's a lot of uh, chod on the bottom so uh, they're sort of chod rigs I suppose see how we go Still a beautiful morning and um, yeah, nothing yet. The barometric pressure is uh, 10.13 today. It was 9.99 on Monday. 10.13's just about the normal barometric pressure for uh, when you're at uh, zero feet altitude, apparently. So we've got that at the moment. Better if it's low pressure, I think. We'll see. Well, very similar conditions to uh, Monday, two days ago, when I had some action. The wind is blowing straight at me again, not as hard as last time, but uh, yeah, it's getting up there now. It's, you can see the ripple on the water, so that's definitely wind coming across.
bags, about seven pounds again. Wonderful. Here's what we got him on. I'll show you that in a minute. It's an excellent fish. Well, here's the rig I used to catch that fish. Uh, Anti-tangle sleeve. That stops the uh, fish getting injured. And then down here we've got the leg clip. I've got it locked in because these fish are so small that they uh, we don't need to drop the lead, it's not windy, it's not weedy round here rather, it is windy. And uh, there's the there's the wafter with the piece of fake corn on the top of it. Um, a little bit of putty holding it down. So I call it a chod rig with a wafter. But it certainly was successful. Well that was fantastic, wasn't it? Uh, what time is it? Let's have a look. Oh, about half past ten when I got that bite. So they're coming at all times. But uh, I have been putting in a not a lot of corn, but regular sprinklings of corn. On the theory that uh, the sound of the corn hitting the water sort of brings them round. However, we do have the wind coming right at me again. Um, so you know, it, it feels like the... Uh, Atmospheric pressure's dropped a little bit, the, bar the barometer's probably fallen a bit. The wind's got up and is coming in towards me. Fish seem to like that here, so yeah, who am I to complain? Put up with a little bit of wind, not too much, as the camera's about to get blown over. But uh, yeah, another good day, another good day. Little seven pounder, but it proves that the rig's working. Okay, back to it. Camera's back in position and um, landing net. It's easier having the landing net there, I've decided. It means it's wet every time you're fishing, but hopefully you're going to get it wet anyway. <laughs> so, um, hmm. A good day, a good day. First fish in, let's try for some more. Always a good day when you're not blanking, I suppose. So that one fish, hmm. good to get. Always welcome. Doesn't matter the size, always welcome. It'd be nice to get a, something a bit bigger though. But it's, uh, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, nice carpy day again. A bit bright, but um, yeah, they seem to be around. I'm just trying a new microphone that I've got for the uh, I'm filming this on an iPhone, so got an external mic, just trying it because it's a windy day, see if it makes any difference. Wish the sun would go, but uh, yeah, I think the wind is uh, blowing away any, any chance of cloud. However, had one fish, always a chance of more. Interesting that uh, I didn't film it, but uh, just before I caught that fish, there was a guy racing a model speedboat and he was down to the uh, the left of me as I look at the lake and he was coming up within about uh, oh, about 100 metres away, maybe 80 metres away from the swim or from where I'm, I've got my bait and um, yeah so that obviously didn't bother the fish at all which is good or maybe he scared them down into my swim. Yeah, you never know dear, never know. So the day continues, just uh, hitting midday now, the wind's got up nicely but the sun's shining brightly so yeah who knows, plenty of chop and break but uh, yeah. still too bright I think. So one earlier might be it for the day, you never know. At least it's not a blank. He's the dude who's in the mood to pull some carp out for you. He's the dude who's in the mood to show you just what to do.